Home values appreciated 10% last year, and this year they're predicted to appreciate another 5%. This has some people concerned thinking that, are we in a housing bubble similar to 2006 to 2008? Well, we aren't, and here are three reasons why. Number one, this time supply is extremely low. The market price of any item is determined by supply and demand. And in real estate, we measure it in the month's supply of inventory. So. Basically, the number of listings versus how many buyers are out there looking. Uh, in 2006 to 2008, the inventory jumped from five months to 11 months. So it would have taken 11 months for all those homes to be sold. Right now, we are currently at one month's inventory. So remember, if the demand is high and the supply is low, prices will rise. Number two, this time housing demand is real. In 2008, the, the, it was more of a psychological factor that the housing prices were going to keep going up and up and up. So there was a lot of demand based on not a lot of historical evidence and the mortgage companies played into this and they were basically giving people mortgages that they couldn't afford. And so that crash was really based around that happening. Um, this time, the demand for housing it's, it's much different today. It's based on the need for a different type of housing due to the pandemic. It's millennials such as myself coming into the age of having a family and wanting to purchase a home. And it's based on much higher financial security. So again, when supply is low and demand is high, prices naturally increase. And reason number three is homeowners have plenty of equity. In 2005 to 2007, many homeowners were treating their house as an ATM machine and they pulled out a cumulative $824 billion in cash out refinances. So this turned into a lot of people owing more on their homes than they were actually valued at, which led to an avalanche of foreclosures. Let me give you some stats. So right now, 38% of homeowners own their home free and clear, no mortgage whatsoever. So they're not in risk of losing their homes at all. 56.7% of all homes have a minimum of 50% equity. So that is one of the leading forces that is driving this economy forward and keeping people from going into foreclosure. We are absolutely not in a housing bubble that's expected to burst and all these foreclosures to happen, even though the news may say otherwise. Make sure you guys keep yourself informed, make sure you have correct information and always feel free to reach out to me.